Hey everybody, welcome back to Garage Stories. So, today's story is about the shop. My roof has been leaking really badly for a long time, ever since I bought this property. The roof had some skylights that were like a kind of a fiberglass, clear fiberglass material, corrugated. And those have been on there a long time. They'd held up surprisingly well, but they had some holes. So I replaced them with some clear PVC panels, which did not last very long at all. In fact, I almost made a video about installing them at, back at the beginning of the channel, um, but it didn't go very well. It's happening. It's raining and the roof's not on. They got eaten up by the sun. They have lots of holes in them. Pails destroyed them. There's large chunks missing. So my roof looks pretty bad. A lot of it's rusty, but it leaks pretty bad. So I've thrown up other pieces of sheet metal to try to cover the holes and it's held down with tires and stuff. So let's take a look at the roof and I'll show you what I'm talking about, but it's pretty bad. So here is what my roof looks like. This is one skylight here. This one is actually probably in the best shape and it's still got a few holes in it. And that one over there, those tires are the beginning of it. And uh, that's a piece of sheet metal that they're holding down because it's got a huge hole there. But it's got another huge hole up top. Pretty ginormous hole right here. They're all kind of starting to leak and um, get holes in them. And I think they're starting to deteriorate the wood underneath them a little bit worse, maybe because of the sunlight and some moisture. So today we're going to replace those skylights with actual solid sheet metal. We're getting rid of the skylights. We're adding more lights inside because I have found that if I'm working inside the shop and the sun's coming through that skylight, it is blazing hot in there, especially in the summertime. And it gets in my eyes and stuff and it's just not convenient. So I like the idea of ambient light from skylights, but in reality, the ones I had on there just weren't cutting it. So we're gonna go back to plain old sheet metal. Yesterday, I got up real early for work and ran over to the lumber yard and picked up some 16 foot sheets. This shop, it's around 12 feet front to back, 12 to 13 feet. The roof is about, you know, maybe 15 feet length. So these are a little bit longer. I was able to find some 16 footers, which is really good. So I can cut them down to size. Don't have to do any splices. I think most of these panels up here were 14 footers with a little bit spliced in at the end, which, you know, I guess it kind of worked for the last 30, 40 years, however long, but uh, it's not the greatest. So let's get into it. Here's how I picked it up yesterday morning. I had to put the hitch on my truck, which um, is something I've been wanting to do for ages is get a hitch for the truck. I finally got a hitch. Funny story, when I bought the truck, I paid $1,650 for the truck. The guy went down from $1,700. He went down $50 because I wanted a receiver hitch and didn't have one. Like three or four years later, I still never gotten a hitch. I found one for $50. It was $100, but they took $50 because it didn't have the hardware. Then I spent $25 on hardware and I installed it early yesterday morning. What that did is it lowered my trailer, the tongue of my trailer down. I took the tailgate off. Um, that way the sheet metal could overhang the back because the trailer's only 10 feet long. That way it wouldn't drag on the ground. I put some boards out there, screwed down to my deck to kind of cantilever and hold the sheet metal. And it worked out pretty good. And I'll show you that as well. All right, let's go. All right, we made it home safe and sound. Let's uh, get the sheet metal unloaded and get it up top. I've got some screws and you get the impact gun going. I don't think this should take too long, but sometimes things take a lot longer than I expect. Roof feels real solid. This whole roof could stand to be replaced, but that's a little more dollars than I want to invest in the roof right now. So I kind of can tell where the supports are, where the nails are. I'll try to stay closer to those places and definitely on the sheet metal. I splice it so it's double thick. It just turns black. So it gets so brittle. So I definitely do not recommend using clear corrugated PVC panels on your roof. They will deteriorate and fall apart and get brittle. That was an experiment. We're moving on with life. I make no pretense of sounding like I think this is going to be a really nice shop. Um, it probably never will be. 
I would like to replace the entire roof, but you know, that'd probably cost close to $1,000 to do all the metal and wood. What I'm doing right now is just like, you know, $150 and fixing the most major issues. So if you're watching me and thinking that this is a dangerous thing to be doing, you're probably right. I do realize that I could fall through this roof. I don't think I will though. And if I do, it's not really that far down below. I mean, it's maybe eight feet and there's plenty of sharp objects down there to catch me and slow my fall. So this panel does not really look that over long. I may just center it and leave a little overhang on both sides. And I just realized, unfortunately, my screws I have are not self-tapping, which means I'm probably gonna have to pre-drill all my holes, which is gonna be a bit of a pain. Getting hot enough out here that in the sunlight that metal is painful to touch so probably gonna have to be done for now until maybe this evening time or another morning but i overhung on the front side so that we would have a drip edge in case we ever flip this roof around we smell the process now it should be pretty quick for the rest of it all right well the sun has set as you can tell there's not a whole lot of light left in the sky i think i can replace this one before it gets too late the middle one the worst one and uh, it's not too hot right now it's just a little bit dark but got lights on the house the lights inside the shop are on. We got this little portable floodlight from Harbor Freight we just picked up recently. We'll get her done. Here it is from the inside. A whole lot of um, darkness coming in now. Funny how that works, the opposite of daytime. So, should we call this a night light? I think we've made the best of a kind of bad situation. It's not super bad, but it's not really good. This board is so rotted out here, I need to replace that. You can see how it's supported here and over there, and the board is just kind of gone in between. Actually, it's supported here, but the end of that board that supports it is rotted out too. But I think I succeeded in getting the sheet metal held down fairly securely, so I don't think it's gonna blow off of there based on the fact that nothing else is blown off of the roof. We're good for tonight. It's just one more piece of sheet metal to put up. And we'll do that probably in a day or so. All right, I'm back at it. So let's see if we can get this last panel on before it gets too hot. Let's go get this wrapped up. All right, the sun is up now. It's still not hot at all. Thankfully, and we got this panel on here. It looks pretty good. It's a beautiful Labor Day morning, and we've already got something done. But we need to hang up the lights inside. I'm not gonna lie, it is dark in here. It's like a night and day difference. Ha 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 ha. And not in a good way, but that's okay. We have lights and we don't have leaks. At least that's my hope. I really wanna see what it looks like when it rains. <laughs> we've got plenty of lights over here. And we've got another three lights to put over here and one light to fix and put over here. So we'll have a total of eight lights in here, plus this one here, which we use occasionally. And uh, I think we'll see how that goes. Uh, it's a lot more controlled environment now. It's not going to be as hot with the sun beating down on me directly. Yeah, I'm still inside a tin can, but it is what it is. Like I said, someday I want to raise up that side of the roof, make this a lot higher. This side will stay where it is. Raise this one about four feet, maybe. Basically reverse the roof pitch and uh, then put a bunch of garage doors along the backside. Yeah, that would be nice. But this is where we're at today, and it's a uh, it's an improvement, I think. Um, obviously, I can't see quite as well in here, but I think it's an overall improvement. We fixed the issues we were having. So setting up these new lights should be pretty quick because I've already done some before. Just these 5,500 lumen linkable lights from Harbor Freight. I think they were on sale. I paid like 17 or 18 bucks a piece. 
I have three in here and the fourth one is actually a 5,000 lumen that I bought previously. It's not linkable, but it works as the end of the chain. So I will take this one down, put it down to the end. That one broke. I may try to fix that one as well because I think three lights is not gonna be enough to light up the rest of the shop. Let's get to it. I think I may spare you the details on fixing the pull cord on this light. That's what broke. It's down inside there, but these are like rivets of some sort. So I'm gonna have to like cut this open and then either glue it back together or use tiny bolts or screws or something. But I think I can fix it. And yes, I could have gotten a warranty. Warranties cost money. These lights aren't that expensive. And Harbor Freight actually said, or the person at the counter who's checking me out said, hey, you know, you could get a warranty on these lights and it'd be for one of them. And they would cover any of the lights that you brought in because they're all the same. And I said, no, I think that's dishonest. Um, I know they were telling me that. That's just me and my morals and principles. I don't think that's right. And technically I could have bought that warranty and then brought in that broken light and they wouldn't have known the difference. But that's definitely not right. I bought that previously and didn't pay full warranty. So ethics, people, you gotta have ethics. Let's get these lights hung up. I think I'm just gonna time lapse it. I think that's gonna work. I got all the lights burning in here and it's got you know, pr plenty of light for what I need, I think, right now. That side hasn't changed much. It's gonna be about the same as it was working in the dark before. But this side of the shop is way brighter than it was. Got all these lights all the way down here. What might be nice is if I leave them all on and just install a switch before the first light so that I can turn them all on at once. I do think we have more projects ahead. I really do wanna fix this section down here probably just try to scab a two by six in for those ones that are really rotted out at the end i'll probably end up repurposing this um two by four i bought at the lumber yard to support the sheet metal i'll probably end up repurposing it to um fix that spot in the shed i think it'd be good if we could try to fix the tailgate on the trailer because that's been a persistent issue for a long time i'm thinking about using the backhoe to try to bend the tailgate straight again. My plan is to set this on the driveway, on the concrete. See if I can just take my bucket and just push that straight down. And I'll probably prop the ends up on little pieces of wood, two by fours or something, so that I can kind of over deflect this. My concern is it's gonna kink. You know, if it does, it does. Also, this hinge is spread out too far. So I'm hoping if I can brace this side against the backhoe, take my arm and get my teeth in under here I might be able to force this back straight also this hinge pin got bent I'd like to straighten out that hinge pin if I can it's gonna be sledgehammer work you think this will work I want to catch right inside that lip on the angle Okay, so we got the side straightened out fairly well. That's pretty good. Now let's see if we can straighten out these hinges here. That looks way better. Oh yeah. Let's see if I can get that one done too. enough. I'll start bending the opposite side here. Now I need to try to get back on the trailer, but I need to straighten out the pins on the trailer also. So let's get this back over to the trailer. It's time to get these boards off so we can get the tailgate back on. So now we need to see if we can get this pin to be bent a little bit straighter. Wow, 
it's really close. I think that's good enough. Oh yeah, it looks really good. Whew, that's a nice good little workout with a sledgehammer. Let's use the backhoe to bring the tailgate over here. Let's flip it around and see how badly we mangled up the hinges on the other side. That went on really easily. Wow. So we'll get it on the rest of the way here. And in the moment of truth, will it actually close? Wow. This one lines up about as good as it ever has. This one goes straight on. I can take a bite of the ratchet strap. Yes. I know it's not as strong being slightly buckled, but again, I usually just put lawnmowers on here, so it's not a big deal. And if I do anything really heavy again, I should either support this tailgate really well or not use this tailgate at all. Last thing to check is the pin, which shouldn't have any issue fitting in here. Yep, we are good to go down the road without a ratchet strap holding the tailgate shut finally after, gosh, a couple of years like that. Ever since we got that beast, we got it fixed with the same beast that damaged it. <laughs> Well, we're finally getting a nice little bit of rain. So let's go see how the roof is looking. It's pretty good. Oh yeah, real happy with that. This is the area that would typically flood. Okay, I do see some drip marks right here. Something's dripping right there, which is this board. Water's running down here. Oh, looks like it's clearing through an old nail hole here. That's pretty good, I'm happy with that. And there is a, a lot of light in here. All right, everyone, so I think that sums this video up pretty well. We've got a lot accomplished. We've got the lights working in here. We've got the roof replaced. We've got the trailer fixed. We got a hitch put on the truck. We fixed a broken light. All sorts of things got done, which is not always the way things go. If you've been watching the channel, you know, things don't always go as planned. In fact, most of the time they don't. I'm so happy to have this shop mostly leak proof. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for following along. And as always, feel free to like, subscribe, leave a comment. You know, let me know your thoughts on what I'm working on, what you'd like to see more of. As always, guys, stay safe, keep making stories, and we'll catch you on the next one.